welcome back and thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. If you're new here, my name is Amber Michonne and I do weekly DIYs, hauls, and other fun things. If you're not new, hey doll, hey. <laughs> so in today's video, I have another round of Christmas DIYs. I really hope you all enjoy it. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to... <laughs> If you love what you see, give me a big thumbs up, and I would love if you would consider subscribing, and yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night. For this DIY, we are going to be using one decor sign from Dollar Tree. I picked this one up during Halloween, so it doesn't really matter the sign. And then I also have a pack of window clings that I picked up from Walmart that were 98 cents. Once I removed the tag and the rope that came on it, I then went ahead and painted it white using my Waverly chalk paint. And now I'm gonna go ahead and place down my window clings the way that I want. And I'm using the phrase fresh cut Christmas trees. And then I'm also gonna use uh, two sets of the Christmas trees that um, are on there on each side. Um, then once I have them placed down where I wanted them, I adhered them with some Mod Podge, putting a generous out on the back side flipping it over and smoothing it out and then I went ahead and put more Mod Podge on the top part of it to make sure that it sets in nicely and then I let that dry for a few minutes after everything was dried and tacked down, I took a piece of burlap from a spool that I got from burlapfabric.com. They sent me over some items, and all I'm doing is making a simple bow, tying it in the middle, and I actually use the sides of the string where you tear the burlap on the side to get more of a, a rugged edge. I actually use that to tie down my bow in the middle and then just wrap it around a bunch of times and hot glue it down, and then I'm going to hot glue it to the top middle of my sign. The next thing I did is took some of this uh, gift trim that I picked up from Walmart. It was in a pack of three for about $2.48. You can get this Baker's Twine from um, Dollar Tree. It comes in a pack of three as well, but they're just smaller spools. But you can totally do that if you don't want to go to Walmart and pay a couple dollars more. Um, but what I did is I started to wrap that around each side of the sign and hot gluing it to secure it on the back of my sign. After I was done with that, I took a greenery pick from a Dollar Tree that I had and started, actually no, I got this greenery pick from Walmart. It was 98 cents. And I just started to um, dismantle that and hot glue down the pieces that I wanted to use um, behind my bow. And then also got a nice chunk of these berries and hot glued that to the front it was a little too long and bulky for me so I ended up winning I went back and cut some of it off um, but I like the end result of it now you can totally leave this sign as is it's super cute if you want to just hang it as a decor piece but I wanted to add a little bit more so I took this steak that I had from Dollar Tree around fall um, it's the one where it had the home sweet home uh, like the the short signs that were kind of broken up um, and I just took that off because I used it for another project and I'm going to go ahead and use this as my stake for this sign but what I'm doing is going to go ahead and wrap that gift trim the same one that I used on the sign on the top of this stake and I think this adds a nice touch a nice addition to this sign and then hot glued the sign onto the middle of the stake and I love how this turned out it's super super cute and you can totally have this stand as is but I think it'd be much cuter in a bucket with like some trees or one or two nice sized trees around it I just think that is so cute and it's just so fun this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family For 
this next DIY, you're going to go ahead and take a 12 inch wreath form from Dollar Tree and then wrap that around with some burlap. Now you can use Dollar Tree burlap for this. Usually when I wrap these kind of wreaths forms around with Dollar Tree burlap, it takes about one and a half rolls. But I'm using the roll that burlapfabric.com sent me, um, which is why it looks like so much because it definitely is. <laughs> so I just wrap that around and cut off any of the frayed edges that I do have along the way and I just keep wrapping that around just to get a nice base to cover the entire green wire form after that I went ahead and took a bunch of these pine cones that I did have lying around and decided I wanted to add another dimension part to my wreath so I'm painting these white using my chip brush and my Waverly chalk paint in white so I was done with that I took some greenery and some florals these are all from Dollar Tree and were out during this Christmas season so it's all stuff you should be able to find now I also added in some um, floral picks from Walmart everything was a dollar or less and all I'm gonna do is just layer everything I did a reef last Wednesday and if you were able to catch that then you know that I like to layer my reefs with my greenery first now this I did this one before the last one and I didn't do it that same way only because I was trying to see something. I was trying to see if it would be easier to layer them with the, the larger things that you like and then put the greenery around it. Either way works, to be completely honest. Personally, I think that I like layering the greenery first and then putting all of my accessories on afterwards. So I kind of did it backwards this way. You choose what you think is easiest. Sometimes my brain just works backwards anyways, and I think that was the case on this one. But I just really wanted to see what would work. And like I said, I just have a bunch of different florals and stuff that I put on there. And I love how it's turning out. And then I decided that I needed more greenery. I love boxwood greenery. I have way too much of it, but I buy it every single time I go to Walmart. Even if I'm going to Walmart for paper towels, I buy some boxwood greenery. And so that's my filler green pieces on this wreath and I just hot glue everything down it's super easy everything tacks down to the burlap really easily and once I was done hot gluing everything down this is how it turns out I think it's so pretty I love the size of it it definitely will look really really good if you put a word in the middle of it which is what I will probably go back to do but I love this indoor wreath I think it's such a good statement piece on any wall in your home no he wouldn't miss it in Christmas times oh, and sunset. for this next DIY we are taking a calendar uh, sign from Dollar Tree and this letters to Santa envelope galvanized envelope from Walmart it was a dollar 48 um, so the first thing I did is I took everything off of the sign, the plastic, the rope, the little hooks that were in there and behind in the back, the tag, and there was some staples. So I took everything out and then I went ahead and sanded it down just to get a smoother finish from the little holes that the staples were in. Next, after that, I uh, took my Waverly chalk paint in white and painted the entire back side. So I'm not using the front side and I believe all I did was put some craft paper on the back just to get a more complete look. I only did one coat of this chalk paint and let that dry and then I took some black acrylic paint and just did a little bit of dry brushing on the sides. I originally dry brushed it and then I went a little heavier. It was a total accident. So I just had to commit all the way around. And I actually think it looks pretty, pretty cute. It, it goes really well with the galvanized um, envelope. So then after that, I took my envelope and just hot glued it to the front side in the middle of this sign. And then I took some greenery picks because the sign needed a little bit more. And I hot glued that on both sides of the envelope. And I think it's just so, so cute. It brings it a little bit more um, character to this farmhouse look.
Then I took this stand piece that I had off of a pumpkin from fall. You know, they have all those pumpkins that stand up that say hello fall or hello friends or something like that. So I took that, I painted that white, use, uh, <laughs> white. I painted that black using my acrylic paint and then hot glued the sign inside of that. And then for more reinforcement, I hot glued more onto the back and then put one small Jenga block piece um, in the middle. And then in the front, I needed more berries because I had a little bit on top. So I went ahead and hot glued some berry pieces that I had from a pick that were just kind of lying around. I just kind of tore it apart and just put them all in one line on the front of this stand. And I think it's so, so cute, so pretty. It's so fun for my boys just to, well, especially Caleb, to put his little letters that he wants to give Santa to tell him the toys he wants for Christmas. I think it's just so fun. And it's it's just a cute cute decor piece to have like on a table in addition to everything else you might have Come on. Dance. We're gonna dance, dance, dance. Have a good time. all right dolls that's all i have for you today i really hope you enjoyed this video of these fun cute diys if you did make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already all right dolls i will see you on the next one bye all the windows in the rain is Yeah.